What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back. Well, today's video is gonna be a bit different. Um, the other day I was talking to my friend Chris from Tech Tablets and he's having trouble with his iPhone 12 Pro and thermal throttling. So the phone starts lagging after he plays a game for about an hour. So in today's video we're gonna find out if the regular iPhone 12 does the same um, when it gets hot. And just so we have something to compare it with, I also have um, the Samsung Galaxy S20 right here as well. So what we are going to do, we are going to run the Antutu benchmark um, on both devices. Now that they are nice and cold, we are going to see what scores we get um, at first when the devices are cold. Then I'm going to play a game for about an hour and then we'll run the Antutu benchmark once again. So we can see if there is any drop in performance um, when the phones are hot. And with that being said, let me turn the camera around. We'll start with the Antutu benchmark and we'll go from there. Alright, so we have both phones ready. On the left here we have the Samsung Galaxy S20. As you can see it's at 100% power and on the right we have the iPhone 12 and this one is at 100% power. So I'm going to show you that I don't have any apps running in the background except for the Antutu benchmark. So we're going to be running the Antutu benchmark on both of them. Obviously I'm going to fast forward so you don't have to wait all that time. We'll just wait for that ad to go away. So we're going to press test again and um, we'll run this and um, I'll come back afterwards. Alright, so as you can see the iPhone 12 does get um, a somewhat higher score than the Samsung Galaxy S20, but that's not important. It's important the score that we get after we get to play um, for quite some time. So we started at 100% battery on both of them. The S20 has 96% and this one is still at 100%. We'll see how that um, works out um, once we start playing the game. So for the game we have this one called uh, Jinshin Impact. This is a very graphic um, intensive game. So we'll see how both do. So I'm just gonna turn them um, this way. Let me make sure that you can see them on the camera. So we'll start the game at the same time. Um, we'll close the Antutu benchmark I guess on both. So we'll close that. So we'll start our game. We'll see which device actually starts the game um, sooner. And we're also gonna play at the maximum graphic settings. This way both devices can get hotter and um, quicker and then we can see which device lags um, and um, which one doesn't. So kind of at the same time, um, we'll press tap to begin. We're gonna have to turn down the volume a bit. So tap to begin once again. We'll see which one actually starts um, faster. So the iPhone 12 um, did start the game um, a bit quicker. We'll wait for the S20 as well. And of course, I'm gonna fast forward throughout this because I don't want you to, to be watching this for an, an hour. There is no point. So the iPhone 12 definitely way faster at starting that game um, compared to the S20. So we are roughly in the same spot um, with the game I was actually playing uh, yesterday so we can get here. So let's open the settings on both. So settings, settings, graphic settings and here you can see that we have it at 60 frames per second and everything is set to high and the same here but the menus are a bit um, different but everything is set to to the highest um, level possible overall setting we don't actually have overall settings here but everything is at the maximum um, settings that we can get so we'll um, close this we'll close this back and back so now I'm basically going to start playing this game and um, we'll see how it goes um, after a while. I'll um, see which one um, starts lagging more. Let me turn off the manual focus. So now we have autofocus. I just want to show you how these work um, right now. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 and you can probably see it's extremely smooth. 
So no matter what you do, this is super, super smooth. One of the smoothest that um, I've seen. But we'll have to see how uh, the phones perform after a while. So we'll stop here. We'll switch to the iPhone 12 so I can show you the exact same thing that I was showing you on the other one. So let's uh, go this way. So once again, extremely smooth on this one as well. Maybe I should turn up um, the volume a bit. Let's turn up the volume a bit on this one. So we'll just uh, keep playing for um, a while. And as I said, um, as um, these start um, slowing down, I'm gonna start talking again so uh, we can see. This is already kind of lagging. No, that can be. Yeah, it's not as smooth as the S20. Let's see this one again. So the S20 seems much smoother than uh, this one, than the iPhone 12. Well, it's kind of the same now, actually. Alright, so, oh, well, see? As soon as you play for a bit, it kind of starts uh, dropping a couple of frames. So, we'll, uh, I'll keep doing this. Um, right now it's 8.23. So um, we'll see we'll see how this goes um, for um, about an hour. Alright, so it's been about 20 minutes now, uh, well, almost 20 minutes, uh, and I've been playing uh, a bit with this phone, a bit with the other phone. Uh, both phones are feeling a bit warm at the moment. The S20 does feel a bit hotter, but uh, both of them um, are uh, playing without any lag. So even though they are a bit warm, there is no lag um, whatsoever for either device. So we'll have to see how uh, this continues after uh, another 10 or 20 minutes. But for now, there is, well, there is a bit of lag here for this one, see? So maybe the iPhone 12 does uh, develop a bit of uh, lag, but it's definitely not bad uh, this time. But you can see a couple of skipped frames um, here uh, and there. But uh, funny enough, the S20 feels actually way warmer than uh, the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 um, still feels kind of uh, cool to touch. So I'll keep uh, doing this for uh, another little while and um, I will ba be back so we can uh, see how uh, this works out uh, in the next 20 minutes or so. Okay, so it's been another 15 minutes. It's 8.56. Uh, now I think we started at 8.23 or so. So the Samsung Galaxy S20 does feel hotter than uh, the iPhone 12, but uh, it feels like it performs better. So this is the S20, like no uh, dropped frames uh, so far. With the iPhone 12, uh, it doesn't feel hot at all, like the S20 does feel much hotter, but this one seems to drop some more frames uh, every now and then. So you can probably notice them when I uh, scroll around. But overall, they're still doing pretty good for such a graphics uh, intensive game uh, so far. So I'm going to keep uh, playing this for another 20 minutes. I guess uh, that's going to make it uh, to like an hour of playing. And uh, then we'll run the Antutu benchmark um, once again and we'll see how well uh, they do then when uh, they're super warm. So uh, yeah, I'll keep playing and uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so we are roughly in the same spot um, with both devices. Once again, the Samsung Galaxy S20 is hotter and uh, now it's been about um, 45 minutes almost um, since we started playing. So the S20 does feel hotter than the iPhone 12, but neither device seems to be throttling um, that bad. I mean, you can definitely notice a couple of skipped frames um, here and there on both devices, but they're still doing pretty good, both of them, um, I'm gonna say. 
So about 45 minutes playing, yes, they are both um, pretty hot, but uh, performance-wise, I think um, they're doing really well. So we'll play for another 10 minutes, then um, I'm gonna stop playing and um, we'll do the Antutu benchmark um, test once again. So we can see the difference in score between now um, and um, when we first started uh, doing this test. So I'll keep playing for um, another 10 minutes and then um, I'll come back so we can uh, do that test. Okay, so it's been roughly 50 minutes since um, I started playing. Both devices are doing pretty good actually. That's the S20, this is um, the iPhone 12. So even though they're both pretty warm um, at this time, uh, I haven't really noticed that much lag on either device. And that's quite impressive playing this game for um, 50 minutes. So we're gonna exit this game now on both devices. We'll um, roll them around. And um, I think we're gonna run the Antutu benchmark. Just um, in case you're wondering, on the S20 we have 71% battery and on this one we have 67. So the iPhone 12 did use more power um, while playing that game for, um, for about um, 50 minutes. So we'll run the Antutu benchmark uh, once again. We'll see the score that we get. Once again, I'm gonna fast forward uh, this. We'll just wait for that ad to go away. So we'll test this once again, now that uh, both phones are hot, and um, we'll um, come back so we can see the results. All right, and we are back. So yes, there is in fact some thermal throttling happening um, for the iPhone 12, because as you can probably see here, uh, the Antutu score has dropped um, quite a lot um, since we first started this test. So it's been about, well, exactly an hour um, since we started. And just in case you're wondering now, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S20 is at 67%, while this one is at 62%. So there is in fact some thermal throttling happening um, for the iPhone 12. So I'm um, assuming that if I would have kept playing another half an hour or so, this score would have been um, even lower. As you can probably see here, um, the Samsung Galaxy S20 didn't actually drop uh, this score too much, even though the S20 felt uh, hotter to touch than uh, the iPhone 12. So there you have it, the iPhone 12 and the Samsung Galaxy S20, just in case, um, if you're wondering about the thermal throttling on these two devices. Alright guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to press that like button and I will see you in the next one.